Well, it seems like every week we get closer to life before COVID-19. You can sit on the beach, go out to eat, go do your hair. But your nails, they're going to have to wait. Yes, there are 11,000 nail salons in California, more than half here in Southern California. They're 80% owned by Vietnamese Americans. We also have 110,000 licensed manicurists. Owner of Studio 18 Nail Bar, founding member of Nailing It for America, Christy Nguyen joins us now. Christy, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate your time. Look, I know you're frustrated. I know other nail salon owners are frustrated. Why do you think your industry has not been allowed to reopen at this point? You know, that's a good question. Um, we are trying to figure that out ourselves. Um, you know, like you said, hair salons are open, bars are open this um, coming this Friday, um, alongside schools and, you know, gyms. Um, so we're just trying to figure out why we're not allowed to reopen. I mean, there's some speculation that, um, you know, with hair salons, they work be behind you, and with nail salons, it's in front of you. But, you know, at the end of the day, we have the proper PPEs and shields um, to protect our clients and our staff. Chrissy, this shutdown is leaving a lot of people out of work. Eric just right. mentioned some of the statistics. We know you're upset that the governor initially came out and said that community spread of COVID-19 came from nail salon, a nail salon. Now, one industry group is they actually want to sue the governor over this claim to get court ordered guidelines to reopen ASAP. Do you support it? What do you hope happens? I hope that, you know, Governor Newsom does address the fact that um, the coronavirus and the community spread did not start from a nail salon. That is a very damaging statement, um, you know, and, and if for an industry that hasn't even opened yet, um, and to have that linger still is going to be detrimental. Um, the, the xenophobia that follows behind it, the financial impacts of it, the stereotypes, um, the list goes on with that. And, you know, it's something that if he doesn't address it, the stigma will always kind of be there. Um, so, you know, I, we believe it's very, very imperative that he makes some sort of announcement to, to just help our industry revive and just thrive again. We've been looking at video while, while you were talking there of uh, the partitions that are going up, some of the PPE, some of the processes that have been in place to keep things clean and sanitized in there. What Correct. are some of the salons doing to get ready for the moment they hear that they're, they're okay to open? Um, it, with my particular salon, Studio 18 Nail Bar, um, we will be doing temperature checks. We will be having clients sign waivers just to acknowledge the fact that we have everything set up and ready to protect them. Um, clients will wash their hands prior to um, to obtaining a service, as with technicians. Um, they will be sitting six feet apart. Um, and so for our salon, it's every other pedicure chair and the manicure table. It's only one person on each end. Unless you are a minor, then, then you're allowed to sit um, with the parent um, or, or whatever guardian is with you, um, just to keep our techs apart as well. Um, I mean, th things will be heavily, heavily sanitized. Um, I mean, it, it will just be a brand new experience with the table shields, the face shields, the face masks. Um, so, you know, for, for this, even though the guidelines have not been set yet, um, these will be the standard guidelines for our salon, um, just to make our community feel safer, um, but just with everything going on. So, I mean, we always tell our clients, um, um, up until this point, you know, your experience will be extremely new, but know that we will do everything in our power to make it as, lux as luxurious and as relaxing as possible because everybody kind of needs some type of pampering during this pandemic. You know, I've been seeing on social media, people posting videos, beauty industry workers, they're risking it all. Some are even making house calls. What are you hearing? Um, you, you know, I, I've heard the same, but I, I know that with our particular salon, we are very strict on that. Um, and I know a lot of the industry, they they are just hunkering down as well. Um, you know, I have a lot of salon owners and a lot of, I, and I know a lot of nail technicians who are who are greatly suffering right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're not taking house calls. Um, they're not, you know, they're not taking clients behind closed doors because they they are fearful for their health. And you know, at the same token, you know, they're falling following the orders that California has given them. So we're just, um, me alongside every other nail salon owner and every nail technician, we're just waiting for the green light. Real quick, Christy, what can people do to help out their uh, fellow business owners here? Um, I would say, be there on, on day one, call in to make an appointment, um, buy gift cards. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of our clients, our regular clients have really, really helped us mm -hmm. in purchasing, purchasing gift cards because we're close to being closed for three months now. Wow. Um, no rent help. We're still paying the same amount. Um, 
you know, so I mean, every little bit helps, especially if it's a small business, um, you know, because we, we don't have as much help as, you know, the large corporations, unfortunately, but, you know, so, I mean, we rallied together as a community, as a team, and so, you know, that's how um, our particular salon is able to survive, but I know that going forward um, with, uh, in reopening, about 20 to 40 percent of nail salons will not reopen. Wow, that is so detri detrimental, that is so sad to hear. I know you guys have been waiting so patiently. Hopefully, you'll hear more guidelines, uh, guidance from the governor, and then it's obviously different county by county as well. So um, good luck to you, and hopefully you. you guys will get some good news soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Have a good day. Appreciate your time. Thanks, you too.